Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Uh, we're gonna, this time around, keep going on posting groups. Surprise, surprise. Um, it's been a long journey and uh, in order to do this topic justice, we actually have to cover all of the tracks or most of the tracks, at least uh, the main heavy point uh, of how things post through the system. So in previous video, we actually went over how you purchase uh, and how it gets booked into NAV uh, through AP and inventory and direct cost applied and purchasing accounts. And those have mostly to do with the general business posting group and general product posting group and how that actually ties together in the posting setup. Uh, so this diagram here, I'm just showing you on the left hand side, we have the entities and they are tied with general business posting group. And on the left, on the right hand side here, we have the general product posting group, uh, which ties together items and inventory resources, basically anything that you buy and sell like items, uh, things like that. So uh, what we want to go through now is the actual sales posting of that transaction. So if I go into NAV, I'm just going to go in here, go into a sales order. And if you're jumping into this video without watching the previous video, I suggest you watch that first. Uh, then you kind of get where we're going. So let me see if we go here and create a new sales order. And I'm actually going to sell to the to the Canon group. So right here. And uh, let me just go ahead and show more fields here. And I want to post this actually on 11, uh, 05, 2018, just the same idea as I did before, when I'm actually posting at a, at a date that has no postings. That way I can filter on that date and take a look at the transactions in the chart of accounts. I could, of course, navigate as well, um, but I just like that uh, way because it's kind of clear. So anyways, um, let me go ahead and take a look at this. So this uh, account is has sales tax. I don't want the sales tax to get posted, so I'm actually going to take that off um, because now that will just skew our postings. So make sure that you have no sales tax or no discounts or anything going on like that uh, if you're trying this out. Now I'm gonna just put in your Thanksgiving mug. Uh, we're gonna sell five. Uh, each one is gonna be $30. Uh, that's it, so it looks good. If I take a look at these statistics, um, there are no discounts, etc. And, and we have everything in order. Perfect. So we should see $150 get posted into the chart of accounts. Um, and $75 is going to be the cost, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and post. It's usually good to take a look at the statistics, especially if you're trying out in a demo system. There might be other postings going on and that could confuse the example. All right, so we ship an invoice this. Uh, no, we don't need to open the posted one. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time. Take a look at the chart of accounts. We're going to filter on the date that I just posted on, which was 11.05.18. Uh, and then I'm just going to filter on uh, net change being different than zero. And I filter also on posting accounts right here. Okay, so now we have four postings, uh, $75 and $150 across. Now I'm going to bring up um, my Excel sheet here. And this time around, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller like this, maybe we can close out that pane. Um, so this time around, we're actually going to see things hit on sales. Um, so 
I'm hitting customer domestic, which is our accounts receivable, right? And that goes for an asset like that. And then I hit the resale items, which is the uh, inventory. So we're selling for uh, $75. So which means that we still have, whoops, $75, which, which means that we still have inventory of $225 in here. We just sold a portion of what we bought. Uh, the cost of goods sold gets offset, of course, with inventory. So that is uh, right here, cost of retail sold for $75. And then, of course, sales, uh, resale items right here, gets uh, offset cost of goods sold. So this is how the booking actually books all the way through. So we bought for $300 and gets hit to accounts payable and purchase, and then direct cost applied and inventory. And then we sold some of it, so inventory gets reduced by 75. That gets put onto cost of goods sold, which is stipulated there. And accounts receivable gets uh, hit by 150, and sales actually is 150 right here. <laughs> Gotta get that right. Um, okay, so that is the transaction. And um, why is it hitting these accounts? Now, if we go here into uh, posting setup and I go into the domestic retail again, and we can then see these are the accounts that are getting hit. Uh, now I'm hitting the sales account 44,100, and then I'm hitting the uh, cost of goods sold, which is 54,700. The purchase account was hit before in the purchase and direct costs applied in purchase as well. And where is the customer or the AR account and the inventory account coming from? Those are from the entity posting groups, which we covered in the earlier videos. So now I concluded the posting all the way from purchase to sale. Uh, stay tuned for the next video where I'm actually going to throw a wrench into this and you're going to see some weird postings. And I'm going to explain to you that that is perfectly normal. Thanks for watching. If you like this, hit thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.